The monster diaper is here. I presented it for the first time in Diaper News episode 23. Now it had to prove in this practical test whether the title is deserved. What surprised me positively about the modern looking, printed packaging was how easy it is to open. You can tear it open with your fingers, without scissors or other aids. This is very convenient and unfortunately doesn't work with many other packs. Another plus point is that they are not pressed too tightly into the pack and are therefore easy to remove. From the first impression, it looks thick, which is confirmed by the measurement on the scale. At 241 grams, it is one of the thickest diapers tested to date. On the outside, it has a very boldly colored print on the adhesive zone, which extends almost to the end of the side wings. The rest of the diaper is also printed, but more discreetly with fewer colors and not as bold. The inside is white with a blue absorbent core, as you would expect from ABDL diapers. The high side protection is also standard to prevent leakage. It also offers space for booster pads to increase absorbency. It has plastic adhesives that can be closed again, not indefinitely, as would theoretically be the case with Velcro. But it's usually enough, because you don't have to re-glue a diaper 100 times. But perhaps once or twice when it gets fuller and therefore fits less well. That's not a problem here. The adhesives are remarkably easy to remove and stick together. Even if they are opened after a while, you don't have to use as much force as with others. At first it seems as if they are too weak. But this impression is deceptive, they can still hold the diaper securely, even if it has become heavier. The diaper is soft and adapts very well to the body. You don't need to knead it so it's not like a block between your legs. I find it comfortable to wear when empty. Before we look at the results of my practical test, let's look at the price. A pack of 10 currently costs 32 euros and 90 cents. That makes a price of 3 euros and 29 cents per diaper for 10 pieces. This is in the upper class. However, it is still a long way from the level of the usually overpriced cotton diapers, some of which are sold for almost 4 euros each. LNGU uses by far the most popular material, foil. Officially, they promise a theoretical absorption capacity of 9.5 liters. I'll show you whether this is true in the results of the everyday test. What does it look like in everyday life when you use the diaper? I tested it with almost a complete pack, 9 out of 10, because I always keep one for my diaper archive that you can see right now. This makes comparisons with other diapers possible, and they don't disappear for good when the manufacturer discontinues them. I was able to get a good impression from the 9 diapers, my positive impression, it has withstood a lot. The first result of 2.3 kilograms was already well above the average achieved by other diapers. The next tests were even better and cracked the 2.4 kilo mark. The best result and therefore the final result is 2,435 grams. This is almost the best result of all practical tests. There is only one diaper that has lasted longer so far, namely the Trest Elite Briefs. It managed over 2.5 kilograms at a price of 3 euros and 49 cents per diaper at the time. So the Trest was only 20 cents more expensive, but it had a slightly higher absorption capacity but no prints at all, it is completely white on the outside. And that's only half the truth. The Trest test is from October 2022, so almost exactly two years old. In the meantime, the manufacturer has increased the prices so much that Diaper Minister has removed the diaper from the range. This puts the price of €3.29 for a colorful, high-quality diaper that is also comfortable into perspective. Things look different when you look at third place. The Little Rascals V2 performed only minimally worse than the new LNGU. But they cost €2.69 Euros and 69 cents each. In comparison, the LNGU is over 22% more expensive, but only offers around 7% more capacity in practice. This extra charge is therefore disproportionate purely for the suction power. However, this is relatively normal and not a peculiarity of diapers. With other products, too, you often pay a comparatively high premium for the best and fastest in order to be a few percent better. One example is processors. Here you will usually come to the sober conclusion, it's not worth paying hundreds of euros more just to make it a few percent faster. The slightly cheaper one is fast enough for many things. When it comes to high absorption performance at a low price, LNGU cannot score points. 
Other diapers offer more for the money. However, there are other reasons that speak for or against a diaper. For example, the design. We have hardly talked about this so far. The new LNGU is printed with baby dragons, of which there are four different designs in total. Each pack contains them alternately, similar to what other manufacturers do with this strategy. One of the best known examples is probably the Peak ABU. Not only are there different dragons, they are also in different environments. This is supposed to be an allusion to the motifs of video games. Alternatives such as the Little Rascals V2 are also printed, but with different motifs. In the end, this is purely a matter of taste as to what you like more if the design is important to you. LNGU has taken a big step forward in its own portfolio with this diaper. The French company is best known for its candy fluff diaper. I had already tested them. The price is significantly lower at €2.49. Its absorbency is not comparable to the Dragoons, but it still achieved an above-average absorbency compared to all other diapers. For a long time, this was the only one from this brand. An increase of almost half a liter between these two diapers from the same company is remarkable. My conclusion. LNGU has invented a diaper that is currently one of the thickest with the highest absorbency. It is also soft and comfortable, nothing bothered me during the test. The only sticking point is the price. This doesn't seem to be down to the manufacturer. Other brands charge a similar amount for the thickest diapers, sometimes even more. If that doesn't put you off, you'll be satisfied. Otherwise, there are alternatives. Take a look at the videos in the margin. Stay dry, until the next video.